In this video, we are going to price some options. This is example for question number seven. So we're going to price some option gains and losses, figure out the gain or loss on option transactions. In this example, Microsoft stock is the stock we're using. It is currently trading at 38.36. Let's assume you buy a call option on Microsoft that has a strike price of 40, very, very important. It expires in April of 2014. Calculate your gain or loss in dollars, not in percents. We're going to do it in dollars. If Microsoft is trading at 46.12, well that sounds pretty good. When Microsoft was trading at 38.36, you bought a call option, which is bullish, which means you're betting that their stock price will rise. You bought it with a strike price of 40, and yet the stock went up to 46.12. So it sounds like a good deal. So what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the gain on this call option at the expiration of the option, assuming that Microsoft stock price goes to 46.12. Now I realize option trades in 100 share blocks, but just ignore that. Just do all of this on just one option, just to keep it simple. So for number one, remember the formula for the call gain or loss will equal the max of the stock price. I'm going to use S here for stock price. I know it's confusing because sometimes I was using S for strike price, but stock price minus the strike price and zero because you can't lose on the option. You just don't exercise it. What you do lose on the option is the premium. In this case, the premium, we have a bid and an ask. Remember when you're buying options, always go with the higher number, the ask price. If you're selling an option, you would go with the bid price, the lower price. But here we're buying options, so that's minus $1.48. So in this case, we have a max of 46.12, what the stock is trading for, minus our strike price, 40 bucks. And the max of that in zero, the max of that in zero, and then subtract $1.48. So that's $6.12 minus $1.48. And that should get you $4.64. That's our gain. So the max of 46.12 minus 40 and zero versus zero, since 6.12 is greater than zero, we have a gain of 6.12 on the option minus our option premium, $1.48. That gives you $4.64. Now let's look at the put. In this case, we bought a put option on Microsoft with a strike price of 35, expiring in April. It started at 38, it's 36, Calculate your gain or loss on the put if it's trading at 39.16. Well, in this case, you bought a put option, which is very bearish, assuming that Microsoft stock price is going to fall, and it didn't fall. It actually rose a little bit. So here, a put gain will equal the max, and we just switch the strike and the stock price. So instead of S minus X, it's X minus S, and zero minus, and again, we use the ask price, the higher, higher price, because we're buying the options, so minus $1.10. So that is going to be the max of our strike price. Our strike price is 35. The current price is 39.16 and zero minus $1.10. Well, 35 minus 39.16 is less than zero, so our max here is zero, so zero minus $1.10. We have a loss. Of $1.10, which means we bought a put option, which makes money if the stock price falls below our strike price, but in this case it didn't, it actually rose. So we don't execute the option. There's no reason to execute the put option at this in this situation. And so we end up with a loss, which our loss is simply whatever we paid for the option. Thanks.